All right, as we're in the middle of tax season, you may have a lot of different questions. And on top of that, you may have other questions concerning your finances. But don't worry, I know someone who has all the answers for you for what you need to know about tax returns and that are due today. And joining us now is CPA Kimberly mm -hmm. Washington to give us all those answers. Yes. Kimberly, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Now, there are some tax returns mm -hmm. that are due today. Right. What should people know? Right, so if you're someone who's listening, you have a small business, perhaps if you have an S corporation or a partnership tax return, that tax return is actually actually due today. That due date, of course, is March 15th. If you think you cannot make the deadline, you can file a tax extension. That's form 7004. That would extend your time, of course, to September 15th of this year. Keep in mind, it has to be postmarked by today or electronically filed by the end of the day. So that's something you need to know as it relates to the tax returns that are due today. Now, Kim, there's a lot of information yes. in the media concerning the failure of Silicon Valley Bank. Yes. Many people want to know whether their deposits are safe yes. and how are bank deposits insured? Right. So a lot of people are asking that question right now when it comes to their bank, the bank deposits. rather. And so they're just wondering how does that work? So number one, one thing you do want to keep in mind is that your deposits are insured up to $250,000 per bank. OK, and so that amount covers, of course, checking savings account certificate of deposits. And in the case with Silicon, the regulators have chosen, of course, to protect all individuals above that amount of $250,000. But of course, they may not happen rather in the future. So you do want to keep that in mind, but that's just generally how it does work. Now, Kim, some people might unfortunately see yes. some smaller tax returns this year. <laughs> yes. Why is that and what steps can they take? Right. So if you're someone who's listening and maybe you filed your tax return already or you're thinking about, of course, putting all the information together at this time, one thing you may see, of course, is that your amount may be a little bit smaller than last year. And that's because the child tax credit, the child and dependent care credit, and also the earned income tax credit have all been reduced. And some credits have been completely eliminated, like the recovery rebate tax credit. But if that is your case, that's some steps that you can take this year. Number one, head over to the IRS.gov website. You can use what's called the paycheck calculator. Put your information in, and that way you can determine what it will take to break even at tax time during this time. Now, Kim, lastly, we're about a month away, yes. a month away, y'all, from the tax filing deadline. <laughs> yes. What steps should people take? Right. One thing you do want to know is that the tax deadline this year, of course, is different. It's actually April 18th, so mark that down in your calendar. You get a couple of extra days to file. Another thing that you do want to keep in mind, I strongly suggest is to head over to IRS.gov and create an online account. And that way, in case you ever need to get prior tax returns, tax documents, everything is in one space. You don't have to call the IRS. And another thing you do want to keep in mind, if you can't afford to get your taxes prepared, you do want to head over to IRS.gov and look for a VITA program within your area. They'll prepare your tax returns for free during this time. One of the big reasons why we have Kim sitting here instead of standing <laughs> in her usual place is because she usually trips over all the gyms <laughs> she drops. So we want to make sure she has a nice place to sit to stay safe. I'm so. not going to do that with you. <laughs> As always, Kimberly Washington, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. I appreciate, appreciate you. Thank you.